Hi, it's Angela, the inquisitive farm wife, by the way. So glad that you're here with me as we do a little small garden harvest and a small preservation project. I'm just loving being part of the Everbit Counts Challenge. It really amazes, oh, <laughs> my hand was on the microphone. I hope you could hear that. It amazes me how I don't feel like I've had very much time every day um, this month. It just seems like there's always so many other things that take precedence. But before you know it, five, ten minutes actually does allow for a little bit of projects. So I'm going to switch your position and together we can harvest some herbs and then we'll take them inside. Even though I need to harvest more than I plan to harvest today, I don't want to take off more than I can handle. They'll always be tomorrow. So I've got me a basket here and I think I'll just, I'm not sure where I want to set this, set it off to the side here because as much as I need to deal with this basil, it's gotten out of control again. I have enough of that freeze dried that I think we're going to be okay. And I might be able to start another project another day, but I wanted to sneak out here today before um, the predicted rain and let's see there you can see a little better now i want to come in and really give my oregano a trim because i think this is something that we could freeze dry and really enjoy this winter now let's see and i don't know how much room this might take we'll see what all i can gather i've got room for up to three trays in the freeze dryer. These are just my little kitchen shears that they're the smaller ones. Oh, dogs, dogs are acquainting themselves with each other again. Um, I like to use these because they're smaller and I can kind of get into places and they're not so bulky to hold. And what I'm doing here is I'm kind of, see, I'm trying to pull this and rein it back in. We've got it way back in here and it's gotten way too long and I don't I don't really want it that long I want to kind of bring it back down to where it belongs um I don't know tell me if you've been this is my first real year of having herbs um I'm just gonna kind of trim I know you're supposed to kind of do it at certain places but it's gotten so mangly and so overgrown that I'm just going to kind of give it a haircut here and we're just going to go with it. I think last time I was super careful, you know, to like try to do it here, you know, above a, a leaf or something, you know, like the, oh, that, and then um, that would signify new growth. However, we are so far out of control that I just kind of need to give a haircut to this plant. And look, we have grown up under some of these other plants. And I don't know that oregano really, um, I don't know that it takes on new root. I, I'm hoping one of you know. Let's see here what we've got. We're just going to kind of, we're going to go for it. I think I'm going to have enough for at least one tray of this i'm wanting to just kind of trim it back to the original bush so wow yeah definitely a lot here i would say see it almost acts like it's wanting to reroot but i think it's just dirty let's take a closer look yes Maybe I shouldn't have done that. It looks like it's growing roots. Well, there you go, friends. Maybe I will look into propagating this. Um, ideally, I had no idea that my herbs were going to do so well in this tub. It's an old horse tank. Okay, I think we've really, really given this a nice trim. So I'm comfortable with this. Um, oh, look here, look down here. Can you see this? We might just let this one, should we let this one go? 
to see if it propagates. Because this basil, this basil won't spread like that. Let's just, let's leave a couple to see, see what just maybe happens there. I didn't get too many weeds in here, but um, it's just grown really, really well. Let me cut that. There we go. Things have done well. And maybe next year I need to consider having like a pot for each herb because the mint, you know, I know it'll probably reseed itself and it'll come back. We might get a little mint today. We definitely have enough for a tray of oregano. But I really want to kind of get this parsley. It has done the same thing. Let's see if I can bring you over here. The parsley, I can't even find out where the source of the original parsley even is. Because I'm all tangled up in the mint. But we're gonna we're gonna give this a super haircut here. Can you I don't think you can even see it. I'm not sure what you see, so this may not make it into the video. We'll see. But I'm just gonna take my scissors because I don't I don't think I have but a very little amount of parsley preserved. And so I'm gonna trim that up. And I took all that parsley. Oh, I got a little mint too. That's okay. I took all this parsley minus the mint. And we'll put this in our basket beside our oregano. So that can probably be another tray. And okay, now here's our decision. Oh, here's some more parsley. Do I do the thyme, which I don't have much of, rosemary, or maybe we missed about missed that I think the rosemary the rosemary's gotten out of control too so let's go ahead and grab a little rosemary and I think oh oh I wish you could smell this oh I wish you could smell that that is such a a wonderful herb oh it's so nice now see it has we're gonna kind of trim it give it a good good trim too oh, more parsley now looky here I think it was trying to root also I've got so much to learn about herbs. I'm so excited. This is my first year to ever really be able to grow them well enough to actually have a harvest. Now I have two different kinds of thyme. I'm afraid the one has gotten choked out by the mint. Looky here. See this? It's not even hardly growing anymore. Look at that. I am so, so sad. So I'm going to leave it and we're going to trim up this see it's getting taken over by the uh, oregano even this is lemon thyme oh man what what would you do with that if you had this tell me in the comments below i think i'm going to freeze dry that on that tray with that rosemary but i'm sad that my regular thyme has kind of gotten neglected. I'm going to let it grow for today. See what happens as I trim this. Get a little more of this rosemary. And we have got, we've got to come back another day and deal with the mint and the basil again. I just don't have enough uses. Oh, see, now look, we've knocked this off, so we might as well take it in. I just don't have enough uses for these products, I guess. Okay, I changed my mind. We're going to trim this back up. It's just gotten way out of control here. But isn't that a beautiful basket of herbs? Look at all these wonderful herbs we have. Just right here in my back, in my front yard. 
Okay, the basil's leaning over, but other than that, doesn't that look so much better? That was long overdue. Hey friends, we've been out in the garden, and now I've gathered, got our basket of herbs, and I'm so excited. Together, we're going to freeze dry some of these herbs, but I'm going to kind of separate them into piles, and after I do that, I'll bring you back in and share with you um, exactly how we're going to treat each of them and what we're going to do. Well, we had quite a few herbs in that basket now, didn't we? We have our parsley, we have some rosemary, we have thyme, we have oregano, and we have mint. I don't know that I'll do any freeze drying of the mint today. If I do, it'll be a very small amount. I have another project for that. So I think for now, I'm going to move it out of the way so that we can get some other things done. Well, hmm, go big or go home, right? So let's start with the largest bundle that we have. I have myself a small um, salad spinner. And so what I'm going to do is I'm gonna take, and you know, any of the spindly stuff, I don't even need to mess with it. But the rest I'm going to put a reasonable amount. What's a reasonable amount? I don't know. Whatever you feel comfortable with, <laughs> putting that in our salad spinner. I've got our sink right here beside us. Don't mind the dirty dishes. We've been working. We've been doing stuff. It's okay. They're clean. They're drying. We'll get those put away eventually. So take all these good pieces and you can, you can actually get quite a bit in here. Just make sure if you have any bad leaves that you, you take those out. See how it's kind of brown. We don't, we don't want those. Any of that yucky root that tried to start back up. We don't need any of that. So I think that we've got this, maybe one, one more bundle here. We'll stick in there. And then you know how a salad spinner works. Turn on your water. Give everything a good rinse. Put it in our salad spinner. Let's see. Oops. Make sure we put it together right. I have to be honest, this is the first time I've used this salad spinner. I got it used at a thrift store, probably. Oh, it has a little stopper. Perfect. And I thought this would be great for herbs. And I'm so excited. Look at that. It, it worked just perfectly. So just like your lettuces, you want to try to have them dry. And you know what? I feel like this is still a little... A little discombobulated here for me and still a little dirty so ugh. I want to have a little bit of a cleaner space here so I'm gonna clean this up Okay, now that we have a clean workspace, we've rinsed and dried our herbs. I'm going to grab a freeze dryer tray. I like to go ahead and use some parchment. And then you can either leave it on the stem like this if you want. But honestly, oregano, it's pretty easy to just peel right off of there. I mean, you'll have tiny little stems, but that's okay. It's the big stem that you don't, you don't really want. And you can usually go pretty far up. And that's it. So I'll just continue this project until I've worked our way through all 
this lovely oregano because you are all you lovelies have such great questions. I know you'll ask me, well, can you take them, can you take the flowers off of the stem before you wash them? So, you know what? We're going to do it both ways. See which way we like better. It's a nice long one. One thing about it, my hands. They smell lovely. You know, herbs and aromatics, I think about that a lot. How in times past, you know, these were the things that people used as perfumes and things. And, you know, I just think some of this more natural stuff like this, we forget and take advantage of not do they taste good but they smell so good too okay and i found that you can you can really pull this off on either either way um up or down work just fine some of these really long ones have all these other shoots on them and it's kind of neat to see how the plant grows. Nature just really amazes me sometimes. Will it hurt to leave the stems on and freeze dry it with the stems and then do this later? No, but honestly, if you have the time to do it now, it's better because then you can just put your herbs directly into your jar or whatever storage vessel you're going to be using. Whether you're putting it maybe in a Mylar bag or something like that. Ask me how I know, right? So this is not my first time freeze drying my herbs. I've done a few rounds already. And when we go over to the freeze dryer, I can show you some of those herbs so that you don't have to wait for me to finish this so that you can see what it looks like because that's the hardest part about these videos is if there's a part two or something one thing for sure i can definitely get more herbs in here this way if i destem them but we need to do a comparison so i think we've got this full enough that we can try that so i don't Keep you on here too long. Give that a quick rinse. Let's see if we can't get that lid on there just. Up. And lucky there. I'm just as happy, if not more happy, than with the stems on. So do whatever works for you, friends. Okay, I'm gonna see if maybe, just maybe, I can get this to all fit on one tray. <laughs> because if I can, I have something else upstairs that I really want freeze-dried. Hold on now, come to think about it. These are all room temperature and what I have there is frozen. Hmm. Well, maybe I won't. Maybe I won't. I think I will. Oh yeah. This is going to fill up a second tray anyway. When it comes to things like this, it's not necessarily even about weight as much as it can also be about space because you don't want it to be too full and too compact that it won't, um, you know, the air can't get around it. So I'm just going to kind of equally divide this into two trays. My trick for you is... I also like to put a piece of parchment on top and that will help to keep my herbs from flying around. 
I suggest doing this also in a food dehydrator if you're not using a freeze dryer. So, okay. Now we're gonna rinse this out really good. Cause I don't wanna mix the flavors. Don't wanna mix my herbs. And because it's quick and easy, I'm gonna throw all of this lemon thyme in here and we'll do it. I had already kind of picked through um, when we were outside, so there wasn't a lot of dead pieces there. Let's go ahead and grab this out, have it ready, because I don't have, I don't have a lot, and I was so disappointed. I really wanted to have some just regular time too, but that didn't happen, but that's okay. And because these are so small, I am not taking them off of the stem until after, oops, a little basil. Um, I'm not going to take them off the stem until after we freeze dry it, just because um, they really will fly everywhere and that'll just make for a bigger mess. And then my next small bundle is the rosemary, same thing leaving it on the stem. Okay. Oh, I love the smell of fresh herbs, don't you? Give this quick spin. I don't know why I think I have to start and stop it. It's not something that's been said out there to do. I just feel the need. I don't know why. This is going to be easier also to separate um, the two herbs. I'll be able to easier tell them apart. I will tell you though that the oregano will kind of just fall off the stem when as it freeze dries. So I'm just going to kind of put these bunches a little close together and leave a little space so that when I go to um, undo this, I can. And once this is freeze dried, if we want, we absolutely can leave them on the sprig so that if I want to put them, say in a roast or with a chicken, then I could have just a whole sprig if I want. So now we have one more tray ready. Of course, I'll put on another, um, I'll put on another parchment, but it's time to get the freeze dryer started. Okay, I need to turn this on and go ahead and shut the door. We're not going to close the plug yet, of course. We're going to give it a second here. But while we're here waiting, I thought I'd go ahead and show you some of my herbs that I've already done. Okay, this is oregano that I had actually left on the stem. I thought that would be just pretty for like Thanksgiving when I make my turkey. Um, I have different kinds of the basil. I've got the purple basil and the green um, basil. This might be mint, actually. And see, here's the rosemary when you leave the sprig on after you freeze dry it. Here is the oregano. That's regular oregano, I believe eat the lemons in the other jar. I even had a little chamomile that day. So yeah, I've been playing around. Do what I say, not what I do. Don't store your anything on top of your freeze dryer. Don't do it. I'm just, I haven't found a place for them yet. So yeah. All right. So I want to go ahead and customize this. And I want the dry temperature to be much lower. Let's see. 95 degrees is what I'm going to put it on. I push save and start because 
just like when you dehydrate herbs, you do not want that higher temperature. You don't want them to burn. So I'm gonna go ahead and let this do for 15 minutes while we go back into the kitchen. <laughs> All right, let's see if I can get you here. And so that gives us a bit to work on this parsley. And how I'm gonna handle this is if I had a pair of scissors, I could just um, pinch it off. Actually, I don't think we cleaned this out. Let's clean this out. All right, start again. And what I'm gonna do is, I don't want the big part of the stem on here. So that's what I'm gonna do. I'm just separating these smaller stems from the big stem. And I'm going to set here and I'm going to do that. And then we're going to rinse it off and put it on a tray with the parchment on top and bottom, just like we did all the other herbs. So check this out, guys. Just like the oregano, you can take and pinch and slide along and that'll pull right off, saving you a bit more time. Oops. And then you know you're getting as much of the stems off as you want. Now, some will say there could be a flavor in some of these stems. Uh, the different kinds of herbs will have flavors in the stems. But it's a texture thing for me too. So I'm growing so much of it, I don't need to save every tiny little bit. And so this works just fine do it like this for me. We are over here at the freeze dryer. It has been plenty of time and I just wanted to show you when I put this in, I like to kind of push down. I don't want to squeeze the herbs, but it just helps for the paper not to stick to the top. And um, you'll just fill this up and you'll run it till it's done. And it's as easy as that. Guys, thank you so much for coming along with me as we freeze dried some herbs. It'll be lovely to have for time to come. Bye for now, friends. See you next time. You never know what I'm going to do.